Hey, good morning, everybody. So day five of our Alaska 10 day trip and we didn't really have any plan to hang out in Anchorage, but this morning we were given some information on possibly seeing some salmon along the Ship Creek Trail, which is located about northwest uh, from where we were staying. Uh, along the way, we were able to find this awesome cool ulu factory where they actually make ulu knives. And we had a chance to kind of demonstrate and see what the ulu knife can actually do. And really, really cool store. I'd highly recommend checking it out and seeing if there's anything you guys might find interesting and perhaps wanting to purchase and supporting the local, I guess, ulu tribe and all that but if i mentioned earlier the ship creek trail along this river path you can actually come by and catch salmon uh, i guess during the season where salmon is actually prevalent along this riverhead river trail and we saw this one woman bring a bucket of salmon which she explained that she caught about 200 miles from anchorage and what she would do is she would basically bring the bucket of salmon here and i'm not sure if it's this particular area but she would come here and they have this really cool table where she would utilize this table to fillet, cut the head, fillet the salmon, get all of the meat. And once she's done with all of the remains, she would chuck it that gets all of the remains and chucks it down to the river. And it's really cool to see all of the seagulls fight for the remains of the body. And yeah, really, really cool experience for something that we caught perfectly on time. For breakfast, we decided to head to Benji's Bakery and we wanted something unique and different for breakfast. And if you just take a look at their menu selection, you'll definitely be getting something unique and fulfilling. Now, the only issue is that it opened late at about 11 o'clock in the morning, so we had to wait a little bit, but check out some of the unique pastries that you won't see anywhere else. They have these unique muffin cream puff looking pastries that are filled with either strawberry, chocolate, matcha, or taro. What we ended up getting was the taro and matcha filled pastries that it just looks really, really, really good. So I initially had plans to do what's called Turnigan Trail, which is kind of part of the Chugash uh, State Park area, but it's actually a lot longer than I anticipated uh, due to the fact that I have family and just basically we don't have a lot of time. We're gonna go ahead and do what's called the Flat Top Trailhead, which is about a 3.3 mile round trip hike with an elevation gain of about 1,500 feet. Now, if you look at it clearly, you could see where the actual end destination is. So looking forward to hiking with my family and actually hiking for the first time with my family. So let's take a look. So a couple of things I need to mention about Flat Top Mountain. You will have to pay, I believe, about $5 for the parking permit, which you can basically buy at one of the stations in the lot. Now, if you look at the map, it looks like you have a long way to go. But remember, Flat Top Mountain is a 3.3 mile round trip hike with an approximate elevation gain of about 1,400 to 1,500 feet. Now, the hike itself is pretty straightforward. Just follow the path all the way up until you eventually reach the top. But isn't it just beautiful? Immediately as you start making your way up, you get such a fantastic view of the mountains in Chugash State Park. Simply marvelous. So I did end up going on a small little detour that takes you to a top of a small knoll. The elevation gain for this is a little bit more challenging compared to the main trail, but you can get a fantastic view of the surrounding peaks and coastlines. So we've been hiking for about half an hour, give or take right now, and about a, about a three quarters of a mile and such a beautiful hike. And actually I could see why the flat top trailhead is basically rated the number one hike in Anchorage. It's just, even when you don't even get to the top yet, we haven't, we're only, we're kind of a little bit less than halfway. You already get such a beautiful panoramic scenic view of pretty much the entire Jugash State Park, the Anchorage area, and just the ocean. Unfortunately, today is a little bit cloudy. Like it would have been nice if we went uh, yesterday or the day before where it's like nice and sunny, but uh, like a smile's on my face. I just can't help but smile whenever I come to places like this. It's just, it makes me, I, honestly, it makes me want to live here. <laughs> now at some point, you're going to start coming across an area with a wooden step case situation. Just be careful that the steps can be a little bit slippery, especially during the wet season. All right, so after you continue to make your way up, you're gonna start reaching an area where you're gonna to have to start scrambling up. Obviously, be careful here because the last thing you wanna do is have a slip and fall. Trust me, you don't wanna have a slip and fall. And go up a little bit more and you're gonna see the US flag to greet you at the top. Holy crap, it is so windy. It is so windy, but we finally made it to a flat top trail or flat top mountain and unfortunately, the rest of my party did not make it up here and it's only just me actually because my sister ended up getting uh, anxiety, vertigo, and it's a hard trail. Well, 
I take it back. It's not a hard trail until you get to the last like 10% where you're just basically ascending all the way up into a mountain and I'm hoping you guys can hear me. It's very, very, very windy up here, but definitely worth it. If you guys do, I highly can recommend, honestly, make it to the top. Cause once you do, you get such a beautiful, exquisite, scenic, marvelous panoramic view of pretty much the surrounding area of Chugach State Park, Anchorage. And I'm just gonna assume that's the Pacific Ocean. I don't know my oceans, but beautiful nonetheless. It took me about an hour and a half to get here. Not too long, I mean, depending on your fitness level overall, but come out, definitely, definitely worth it, guys. So I'm probably not gonna stay too long because it's really, really cold, really, really windy. And yeah, here's the other side of Flat Top Mountain. You can see just how flat it is up here. Holy crap, really cool, guys. Definitely, definitely come by and check it out. This is actually a really cool place. Just take a little uh, protection from the wind. This is a nice little shelter that someone actually built in. If you could hear that, look at how windy it is. Listen. So after finishing off Fat Top Mountain, uh, we want to start making our way down towards Alyeska where we had book accommodations for tonight. And one place I would highly recommend stopping by before you continue to make your way down towards highway you want is stopping by the Beluga viewpoint. And supposedly on a good day or rather in season where the whales are basically swimming around, you can actually see some whales in this particular area. And so we finally made our way to Alyeska and it's such, it's such a cute little ski town actually. It reminds me of those places like Mammoth, Tahoe, like it's like a small ski town. And so we ended up booking an accommodation in it's called the Ski Inn and it's actually such a cute awesome looking building and I would actually highly recommend everyone actually staying here. It wasn't too expensive and we did end up booking two rooms uh, because we do have six people I wanted to book a room where I had just basically my parents and then the kid with just two queen size beds. Did a little bit of walking around town and found a nice little checkboard square area to play some chess. And as far as dinner was concerned, we didn't really have anything fancy to eat, but definitely a nice place to relax for the evening, just looking at the window, enjoying the raindrops along the windowsill, and just, yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow for day six, and we'll be exploring Alyeska. Like and subscribe, people. Like and subscribe. Thanks a lot.